poppin' guys and girls, and today, welcome back to another episode of Alex the Explainer, and today, we have all of our Cenozoic friends, which, Wooly the Wooly Myth, Meggie the Megalodon, and Meg the Megalodon, as well as Terry the Terror Bird, Massey the Mastodon, Diary the Dire Wolf, and Etty the Entelodont, and, um... Um, what was your name in that? Oh, uh, my name is Groundy the Ground Sloth. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. So, all of our Cenozoic friends. But why are Cenozoic friends? And also, why Megalodon? Well, Megalodon lived in the Cenozoic era, and all our other buddies. Except for one thing. Our book I'll be reading doesn't include Megalodon t and Terror Birds. But it still it takes place in the Cenozoic era. And what is the, the book in question? Well, before, before um, our Megabee series, our prehistoric news series, even before Picky, P -P Patrick Again series, and even before our Lickasine series, and even way before our early life series, early life series, we had a series. Right, that friends? Yeah? Oh, yeah! I remember the, what series it was. Summer Break is here. Yeah, all the way back in Summer Break. Now, it's February, and it's no longer Summer Break. Way past Summer Break. But d during that time, we read a book. And that was the very first episode. And I'll link it in the description. And it was about meat eating dinosaurs. But that was a book series. And there's many episodes, I mean, many um, books to that one book. N now, that was a library book. And the book we're reading right here was also from the library. And it's from the same book series. And it is. Dun dun dun! Prehistoric Mammals! And let's start reading. Alex, a lot of people question that why do you just read it instead of telling the information? Well, the reason is, is because the book houses the information. And when we read it, it's basically like us telling uh, you got all of the friends at home all of the information. Get it now, Wooly? Yes, I do. Now, let's start reading. Maybe you can come first. Okay. I can't believe that we're back to this amazing type of doing reading. Yes. Okay, let's get into the first part of the book. Now, the reason why I like to read books is that books have many information. Our first one, Arsenotherium. Arsenotherium. This is a rhino-like mammal. Ooh. Lived... Oh, this is a rhino-like mammal lived in the tropical forests of modern Africa. It had two very large horns that grew side by side. And, here's some facts. Scientists think that horns of arsenotherium were just displayed and were not used as dispense weapons. Now, we can only do one fun fact because, so we can just make the video short. Okay. And. And. Danotherium. Danotherium was called the hoe tusker because it was a down facing tusk. It was down facing tusks, like shown here. Here. It was a very large prehistoric relative of modern day elephants, just like the woolly mammoth. Yes, Maggie, just like the woolly mammoth. Now let's get Terry the Terror Bird. Terror bird. Yes, Terry. This is a very good sign. Now, Terry, you are going to read. Read. 
Stoa Dicarus. Which is um the relative of the Glyptodont, which was in South America. And also Doa Dicarus was also in South America. I was in South America too. And I know all of these and I ate them. A good nice comment. Now, okay, now you can't start reading. I got Dawa Decorous was a giant armadillo that lived that was the size of a small family car. It, it lived in swampy areas, often become stuck. And it had very large spiky club at the end of its tail, which it thrashed its rivals with. Ooh, this one is the Entelodon. I think, I think Etty would like this one. Ooh, yay! Sometimes the in term, sometimes called the Terminate Pig, Entelodon was the size of a rhino, and it had vi a vicious bite, and many have hundred other animals. Hmm, wait a second. Entelodon wasn't the size of a rhino. Yes. Yes. I saw a documentary of it. Yes. It was actually quite small. The one that they're trying to think is Dino... No, wait, wait. Wait, um, let's think of it. Uh, hmm. Okay, we're back, and we finally knew what uh, type of creature it was. It was... Dino Hyas. This creature is not in Tildon, but uh, Dino Hyas. Yes, but some books have inaccuracies. Let's continue. Like Ethereum. Let's read. Let's make Groundy the Ground Sloth do it. Okay. Hmm. Mega Ethereum with a giant ground sloth. It ate plants using its large 2.3 foot. 70 centimeter claws to pull down high branches. That was a very nice read. Oh, oh no. Uh, sometimes balance doesn't work. Yes. Doesn't work with uh, toys. Which, no, actually, we're not toys. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're not toys. <laughs> uh. Now, Paraceratherium. Maggie, how about you read this again? Okay. This was the worst was one of the largest land animals that had ever lived. It ate it was eight times the size of a rhino, and the size allowed it to feed on the tallest branches where other animals couldn't reach. Oh, well I'm actually watching a documentary three, um, which is a series called Walking with Prehistoric Beasts or Walking with Beasts. That um, is the sequel to Walking with Dinosaurs, and they said that this creature, Paraceratherium, was called Antrichotherium. There's many ways. I think they're different species, but I think Paraceratherium is just a smaller subspecies of Antrichotherium. I don't know. Now let's go to Proleptotherium. Now, Proleptotherium was an early ancestor of the modern horse. It grew only to the size of a dog, unlike modern horses, and it had toes, each with a small hoof at the end. That's a very good read. It sounded like clapping, but it wasn't clapping. But um, I'm holding the iPad well, that I'm filming with, so I can't clap. Because you did a really good job. Smilodon, how about you go read Diary to Die Wolf? I can't stand up right. Oh, yeah. Just read sideways. Okay. Smilodon was more commonly known as the saber toothed tiger, but they actually had spots and night stripes, so it's kind of more like the saber toothed cat or saber toothed cheetah. It was a very powerful predator. With its teeth were eleven inches long, um, and also tw twenty-eight centimeters long. It used these sharp teeth to stab its victims. That 
was a very good read. Thank you. Oh no, domino time. Oh no, domino time. Okay, let's go to the next page. Ooh, Wooly, how about you read this? Yes, the star of the channel, Wooly. These giants lived in, lived in the cold tundra, the north of the north. They had very long, shaggy fur to stay warm. Yes, but there are also many other types of woolly mammoths. Also, actually, I mean, um, I meant, um, I meant mammoths. So there's many types. There's the step mammoths, the dwarf mammoths, the woolly mammoths like woolly, and the Colombian mammoths, which I said that woolly was a Colombian mammoth in my Mega Beast series, which was wrong. I didn't hear a read from Masty the Mastodon. How about you come here and read? Okay. Now. The woolly rhino had a thick, long-haired coat, or had a thick, long-haired coat. To keep warm, it used its long, long horn to scape away snow to short grass to grow on the, on the cool tundra. Yes, but that's the end of the book. But we still see, oh, well, maybe the little Brea Tar Pits was in one of those fun fact areas. But here, I'll read the timeline. The prehistoric mammals in this book lived sometime during these time periods after the dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. So, the, pl the Paleogene, Neogene, and Quaternary. The, the Paleocene, Eocene, Olicocene, Miocene, Pliocene, Pleistocene, and Holocene. And millions of years ago, uh, here it says Maya, but millions of years ago, basically it's an, Maya is basically an acronym for millions of years ago. Without the O. Because in the U, seeing USA, instead of United States of America, USOA, and instead of that, they just do USA. Because they make a long acronym. And so that marks the end of another good episode. But wait, Alex, you got another prehistoric mammal book from the library. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, from National Geographic. But it is very thick. With thousands of information of thousands of creatures. We can't read it all in one video. Oh, well then, how about we read it individually in episodes? Wouldn't that take too long? Yeah, they'll start to get bored with just reading one book. Yep, I think so. So, this is the end of the video. And also, we all remember this prehistoric mammals book from Summer Break is here. Right, everyone? Yes. So, guys, bye, guys, and wear your seatbelt. Doo-doo!